Welcome to Fist Review of Modern Warfare 3 Weapons. Now, this information was leaked onto a major blog site that handles nothing but gaming, Kotoku. I, I don't know if I pronounced the name correctly. Somebody can phonetically spell it for me down in the comments so I can get it right before I destroy their name consistently. But I think this was a very very strategic move by Activision to leak this information. Be, there's a, plenty of reasons. One, Battlefield 3's, uh, EA's game, Battlefield 3, Skyrim. There's a lot of big games coming out. A lot of uncertainty in the, in the Call of Duty world. So I'm thinking this is planned information. And I will cover that later on in another video. But let's talk about the weapons. Now, what you're looking at here first is the uh, M4. Now, what you're seeing is a dual scope. And this is very interesting. If you look at a dual scope, what does this tell you about Call of Duty? This is what it tells me. When you have a dual scope, that means you need to see farther. And if you need to see farther, that means the maps are probably three to four times bigger than they were in black ops and if that's the case that means that the perks have to change to fit the attachments and so on and so forth so obviously they revealed that this is a perk called revelations which shrinks up the the sights so you can get a better shot on somebody so I'm thinking in order to get long distance shots with the assault rifles on people, you're going to need dual scopes. I'm only allegedly surmising this information. I don't know. I'm just guesstimating. But based on my wisdom of gaming, this is the conclusion that I can draw. Dual mags, multiple attachments, um, dual scopes, long distances, very long distances for you to hit somebody at a precision point on the head for a one shot kill. This is the, the trade-off that you are going to have to take in order to achieve that goal. So I'm going to surmise that that is the case uh, with dual scopes on your assault rifles and perks. You know, just going to be a nice combination of figuring out things and how they're done on certain maps. Let's just hope there's not too many huge maps for that situation. Now we're looking at the G36. Now you got a lot of beasts in this game. You have the M4, the G36, the SCAR, the AK-47. They bought, they brought nothing but the best of the best back to the table. Uh, the G36 with no scope on it, just raw. So this is in, uh, I think this map is in South Africa, if I'm not st st staying corrected, which um, Johannesburg. And uh, so a lot of close quarter fighting looks like to me. It doesn't have a scope on it. So this is good. So this is a good indication that we'll have close range fighting. Scar weapon, There's what else is there to say? There's a grip on it, so I don't know if that's an attachment. We're looking at the Scar was always a good weapon in uh, Modern Warfare 2. I used it a lot. I loved it with the silencer. I loved the G36 in um, uh, Call of Duty 4. I loved the M4 in... In Call of Duty 4, it was a great undervalued weapon with deep impact. So, I mean, you got a lot of great... It's kind of like assembling the Miami Heat team. You got LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Bosh. I mean, you got some hitters on here. And I'm not... I'm, you know, I'm going to say that the Scar is probably like a, like a Bosh weapon. Not really a superstar, but it's there. So, I'm going to say it's a good-to-go weapon. You know, they're, it looks like they're averaging averaging each other out. Now, this next weapon here is going to be my go-to weapon. I mean, if you look at the beastness of the AK-47, um, I don't know what map. It looks like a Johannesburg, maybe a Brooklyn map. But the AK-47 with no scope um, and nothing on it. This is straight beastifying, new grip. looks like the AK-103 AK maybe. But, uh, you know... You've seen the last three weapons, the SCAR, the AK, and uh, the M4, and I forgot the other one, G36. The G36, the G36 SCAR, and the AK had no scopes on them. So, I mean, the AK can hit it along 1,500 yards without a scope, so it's good to go. 
Uh, but we know it's going to have a lot of kick, but it's going to be powerful, and I'm glad it's coming back. That's probably going to be one of my main weapons that I use. But I'm going to use them all. Like I said, you always go through all the weapons to make sure which ones are the best weapons. Now, this weapon right here is a uh, semi-auto sniper rifle, the RSASS. Now, I've never seen it or never used it, but it seems like they're showing this. It seems to me like this Johannesburg map is popping up a lot. And I'm going to assume that this is a very long map. And um, I don't know. I think snipers are going to have a nice place in this game. Uh, the point is, is like we really have to think about how are we going to get around on these big maps? I mean, if you're having double scopes and, I mean, are we going to like fight for certain parts of the map? I mean, are they going to quarantine off parts of the map for uh, team deathmatch? We really don't know as far as, you know, we can only look at the weapons and reverse engineer how we think it's going to play out. Now, what's really amazing to me is that I noticed that they have a lot of shotguns in this game. I mean, they're bringing back the a A12 from, um, I think that's from uh, Modern Warfare 2. And they're bringing back the, the 87s. They're bringing back the Striker. I mean, these are all crazy ass shotguns and I don't know if the shotgun's going to be a secondary or it's a standalone by itself, but I don't see how you could be standalone with these weapons on such huge maps. It just, to me, it's like crazy. Now here's another shot of the MP5. You can tell, no, this could be. This, yeah, I think this might be an MP5, or it looks, it looks like a, yeah, it, this is probably MP5 or uh, Scarlight, no, Scarlight, might be, nah, it, it's the MP5. So MP5 is in the game, and you know the MP5 is making a return, and uh, I like the way the MP5 looks. To me, it looks, you know, yeah, it is MP5. So yeah, the MP5, we're gonna see another picture of it with its, it's got a bigger stock on it. So I'm thinking you can see the stock in the back it takes in recoil. So I'm thinking this MP5 is gonna hit a lot harder in this game. Probably it's gonna be like the, you know, AK-74U. Here's the M14, obviously. I'm not down for this weapon. I'm not, I really don't care for the snipers, but I mean, people are worried about the snipers, I mean, I've seen everything in the sniper class. Semi-auto sniper, the M14, the Barrett, but I've not seen a bolt-action sniper rifle, so I don't know where they... You know, so we know that Modern Warfare always is... They always love their pistols, and they like... I think that's one thing that uh, they're very really in innovative on, and they like to stand apart on you know, uh, from the Treyarch series. You can see these got these pistols, like pistol guns. I think this pistol uh, actually was done by um, FPS Russia in one of his videos. I don't know the name of it, but you, you can go back and watch one of his videos. It's like a pistol gun. Now you got another gun that's a folding pistol, you know, an FMG. I mean, really, I don't... I, I don't understand the the purpose of these pistol weapons. I mean, to me, I just don't, I can't, I don't realize the purpose of them in there. I mean, I think it's like a, for aesthetics and they're overthinking things and maybe just like, you know, putting too much emphasis on it. I don't know. I hope there's some importance of having good pistols in the game. So who can forget the Scorpion? Scorpion's a Modern Warfare t or Call of Duty 4 weapon. I don't know if it was in the other ones, but it was very underpowered. Another pistol, you know, basically, you know, if you want to buy this gun, you have to have a pistols permit to buy it. But, uh, you know, obviously dual wielding. I mean, who knows the combination they're going to have on them? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it more or less looks like, you know, this pistol looks pretty badass. But it more or less, it looks like to me it's an assault game. You know, it's best, uh, I would best... If you were to concentrate on your combination of, you know, assault rifles. Here you got your grenade launchers. You know, what I didn't see 
on the assault rifles was a you know, obviously they do will have attachments. I mean, this is obviously an attachment below where you have the you have the holographic with the um, the lineup sights on top. So, and it also has a silencer. So there's like three combinations right there. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of customization as far as your weapon is concerned, your assault rifle, but you you don't really see too much customization for the SMG. Hopefully, we'll get that same you know same respect for the SMG players. And let's not forget, there's a fun factor there for the SMG players. I mean, the purpose of the SMG players is to go and find assault rifle guys that are camping and taking them out. Now, here's the dual 87s. Remember, I did a perfect game with those and told you that you know it still was broken and they had to refix it again. And I did that video on Modern Warfare 2. So I'm definitely going to be using these. I don't really know how they're going to balance those out. I mean, I miss them. I love them. They're great things. I hope they just give them the power that they get you know that they're supposed to have and you can see like there's the call of duty one right there on the top or in the top middle and then the mp5 and then the second one down is the modern warfare 2 smg um and then you see down the sights what they look very easy sights on the eyes and then the top the mp5 on the top it looks like it looks like uh mp44 to me but damn that's a lethal ass SMG, it's kind of going to probably be like the AK-74. You have them right off the rip. I'm going to use using that. And I think a lot of people are going to probably be wanting using up the uh, MP5. Here you see another striker with the silence, with the holographic and a couple other grips. I always liked the striker. It was it was a good secondary for me, so uh, I never had a problem with it. Because I like to attack multiple targets, so it's a good, it's a good uh, return. I would enjoy using the striker again. I got turned on to that by Fatal Shots. It was, a, it was a good weapon. I always loved shotguns anyway, so... Yeah, check him out. And la But, you know, we cannot forget about the sniper people. Obviously, the Barrett from Call of Duty 4. Thing's a beast. It'll probably be a beast in this game. Spinning 360, a la ladder dive, stall, whatever you want to call it. It'll be in the game. So there's my review. Till next time, it's your boy Fizz. Maybe I'll come to Mass next time. I'm out.